Dumb fuck Kanye West. Uh, <laughs> where to begin? I'll, I'll, I'll get through this. I'll start with his m most retarded recent <laughs> uh, antics and move back backwards in time from there. So dumbass retard didn't uh, bother to do what was necessary to actually uh, legally qualify to run for president, but that didn't stop him from having a, a, a campaign, um, what do you call it, like a campaign uh, speech? <laughs> It's like, yeah, don't don't bother putting your shoes on or tying your shoes. Just enter the uh, the race and, and try to start running. So he has his campaign event where as soon as he starts, somebody asks him, right, or he talks about abortion, and then, of course, he's so stupid, his mind gets carried on to that subject, and he starts getting carried away with his stupid emotions, and he starts going, yeah, abortion, and I was almost aborted, and, and I almost wanted to abort my daughter, and then he starts crying like a little bitch. <laughs> with a <her> high voice. <laughs> hey, I tried to kill my daughter. Wonderful. And uh <laughs> and that's his uh his inaugural his big fucking look out everybody, here I come. He may have forgot to actually talk about uh you know, anything to do with being president because he just got carried away on that and <laughs> fell apart like a like fucking idiots tend to do. <laughs> Oh, and then he said he, he, he'd give a million dollars to every woman that has a baby, <laughs> which is the, the dumbest thing ever. And it's not practical, first of all. Secondly, that would just make women have as many kids as possible. You know, like the real trashy, trashy women, they would just get pregnant so they could get a million dollars. But this is just fucking dumbass uh, making ideas off the top. You know, his brilliance is just overflowing, I guess. That's one way of putting it. And then the next day, his equally retarded, but luckily more silent wife, the one who uh, is only famous for having a reality show, and who's just like the shallowest, dumbest bitch of all time, and she's ugly as sin. They're both ugly as sin. She looks like a some kind of horse. Like, her nose is way too skinny, and her ass is too big. <laughs> Anyways, she says, uh, oh, people have to take, please take it easy, respect our privacy, and, you know, he's going through bipolar, and all I ask is that you go easy on him kind of thing. It's like, go easy on him? Look at that picture. Did he go easy on Taylor Swift? Has he gone easy on anybody? He always... If you hog the spotlight, you're uh, volunteering for, uh, for the people to not take it easy on you. Like, so you want to declare yourself to be the greatest genius in the world and go on about how great you are all the time and better than everybody you are. But you don't want to be criticized. You want people to be very sensitive towards you. Nobody should go easy on this clown. Uh, he has enough money, you know. He can dry his tears. Fucking moron uses his uh, his voice. He's got he's he's got the attention of millions. He's got a public forum, and he decides to to support a racist Donald Trump who, who hates doesn't like black people. Has no respect for them. He's too stupid to even understand who's racist against him. Right? Take it easy on a guy who doesn't take it easy on the rest of the world. You know, when he took the microphone out of Taylor Swift's hand, he should have just gone further and taken the award out of her hand. And the way he goes on reminds me of like a 14-year-old who just smoked weed for the first time. Like where they think that their philosophizing is so brilliant. They don't realize that for 2,000 years that issue has already been brought up. Like what if we are all just ants on in the world is you know what if the stars are atoms and you know and then and we're just like part of a we're just atoms and in terms of him being bipolar i don't even know if that exists uh, I, I guess i'm not going to comment but i don't need to uh as far as i'm concerned this is just what happens when a retard is called a genius by the whole world they can't handle it their their mind is not capable of processing that kind of shit he just has too much success, and he doesn't... His music is garbage. His music is total shit. Uh, you can't call yourself a genius. Listen to Bach and tell me you're a genius. Basically, he's got an IQ of 102, and 100 is the average IQ. And so, to, a, to somebody with a 100 IQ, a person with a 102 IQ would seem could seem like a genius, right? 
Just like to somebody who's got Down syndrome, somebody with an average IQ would be a genius. So I guess it's not surprising that people think he's a genius. I'm not familiar, too much familiar with his music. I've heard a couple songs. I've heard enough to know it's shit. But I think what somebody told me once was that he's Jay-Z's bitch. So like Jay-Z would say, okay, you do all the work and we'll call it a collab. And, uh, and you know, so Jay-Z gets to make music without having to put any effort in. And Kanye West gets to, you know, be propelled into the spotlight and to do all the bitch work. Um, he names his son North or daughter North. So like Northwest. Whoa, that's brilliant. You just made a mockery. The kid's going to be joke, going to be harassed at school. Why don't you just call her clown or uh and call the call the next kid North by North West. And then he was going to call his his political party the birthday party. Did I say he reminds me of a 14-year-old more like a 7-year-old? That's what a 7-year-old would name their party. Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. He's, a, he's so beneath anybody. He's beneath a fucking donkey. Uh, but if you're going to act like a donkey, uh, you deserve to be treated like one, right? Sorry, Kim. You know, their irresponsibility and complete lack of respect. They should have their kids taken away from them, as far as I'm concerned. Scum of the earth. And that's why my intro says, without good art, life would be worth living. <laughs> would not be worth living. Without bad art, life would be worth living. Because this is the scum of the earth, and this is what ruins the world. Having this kind of shit propped up as if it's what you're, you should want to be. You should want to be a retarded clown. Oh yeah, and, and what else he said? He said uh, that uh, Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves. That's great. That's great. So go up there and say the most ignorant shit. Fucking lock him up in a mental institution and throw away the key. He shouldn't be allowed to walk the street without a helmet, let alone make what he considers to be music. I say give him a cape and a helmet and let him play a kazoo. And he can go around saying he's a genius and a superhero and an artist. And give him an adult-sized tricycle to ride, and, and let him ride around the block. And he can uh, he can copy trademark his helmet and his his uh, his cape and his tricycle, and he can sell it to all the dumb fuck fan his dumb dumb fuck fans. Um, he is an embarrassment to humanity, a disgrace to humanity. He, everybody should be ashamed of him. He should be ashamed of himself. <sighs> It's, it's sad, actually. It's not even funny. You know, real art... There's real artists out there that spend eight hours... I know them. I know some. Eight, ten hours a day on their art. And they've done it for 20 years. And Captain Dumbass here... He doesn't even know how to change key. Um, he has spent almost no time getting good at music. I mean... It, it would be even worse if he had spent time considering how bad this is, fucking music is. And then you got, you know, people who spend 30 years getting a, a PhD in history and they have to listen to this dumbass saying that he knows history better than everybody, anybody. And saying nonsense. Um, you know, it's just so insulting to anybody who is competent. If you like gays, click like. If you like blacks, comment. If you like women, click notification bell. If you like gay women, subscribe. And if you like gay black women, uh, Patreon, Human Warnings, give me money.